Hi everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision Snowflake program. So today we're going to discuss in this video how Snowflake is ad adopted very rapidly and how the Snowflake technology really helps an individual or as a business or the people who are trying to switch their technology to from a traditional data warehouses to or you can call traditional ETLs to uh, in a cloud-based technologies or a cloud-based data warehouses right so this video will help to understand what really is snowflake providing and what real the differentiators uh, we have in a snowflake right so before we go on to a detailed information what snowflake benefits are right uh, let's inter let me introduce how snowflake has evolved and what is the meaning of uh, developing this uh, technology and providing to the business right so snowflake has reinvented uh, or i can say reinventing the reason is they are still growing and they're still building up a new uh, feasibilities or flexibilities or concepts new concepts they're coming for a um, you know every day to day right so they are reinventing the cloud data warehouse okay the reason is to address all the key limitations we have in it today's technologies so what that means so in, within a traditional data warehouses we have a lot of limitations where if you want to bump up a storage or a compute where there are a lot of limitations a lot of days it will take to you know bump up right in snowflake the new architecture right that completely it's it's different from the data warehouses we are currently we have seen in the past or uh, what we calling it as a traditional right and you know um, snowflake as a result of all this evolution what snowflake has done right if we can easily store all our data and uh, we can enable our users mainly with a zero management uh, what that means so what i mean zero management is is like you no need to you know have any dba team or any special team to who can control all your uh, data warehouses storing or you know or, or you want to archiving the data or many things right um, this is something is a, a freedom from a dba we can call so traditional data warehouses need a lot of management okay and when it comes to your cost right uh, we can pay the way we want to actually pay whatever we use uh, you can pay that and um, this snowflake is also uh, we don't need to actually you know learn a lot uh, just 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 in the snowflake is you try to understand the architecture and we already know the sql and we can rely on that to build all the functionalities in a snowflake so and also snowflake has a as a beauty in you know solution is um, majorly rather than you being a bottleneck waiting for availability right so what happens is everyone jumps onto a, a database and everyone started querying right so in that way example like a data science resources data analyst and all they will be querying it to get a rapid access to the data in the service right that can operate at any scale in a snowflake um, either it is a number of users increases or the number of workload increases so anything snowflake can able to accommodate so that's that's the main motto of the snowflake to overcome all the traditional uh, limitations let's see little more in detail of what benefits we have with the snowflake data cloud so the first a slide says that the constraints we have with the traditional data warehouse right so as we discussed in traditional data warehouse setting up a data warehouse means you need to purchase expensive and specially designed hardware appliances you need to have and you need to have a unix to install that one and you need to have a dba team um, you know to monitor all your data center and the management everything to be done but in a snowflake it's totally a contrast to the you know traditional data warehouses all it's a cloud native platform and all you need to do is you just need to go and log in as an account so example how your account logins in a google gmail or something right so similarly in the same way you just go and log in and you get your account created and you set your account where you want to pay the billing right so in snowflake also as traditional whatever you are using you can use everything on a snowflake like you can create a data lakes data marts you can secure the data you're writing a data policies or you can share the data across the organizations right so snowflake has overcome all the limitations we have in a traditional data warehouse 
okay the real differentiator we have in a snowflake right so it's totally built on a multi clouds you know multi cloud tiers that is what that means is uh, you can have your uh, um, you know account can be deployed on any you know uh, cloud service either amazon or a microsoft azure or a gcp any infrastructure you can choose at the time of creating an account Right. The next one is there is no hardware or software to select. Yeah, as I said in a traditional, you have to buy software, talk to DBAs, get that kit installed, and check all the config is good, and lets them maintain that one for a you know for a whole lifetime, right? So, but in Snowflake, there is nothing like you can hardware. You can in a click, you can get all the hardware, all the your required account be installed or deployed for you, and you can simply con you know um, uh, use the account as it is already configured for you right so you don't need to have a dedicated resource for the setup or maintenance or support of in-house servers so in-house servers is nothing but a company who have maintained their own data centers or who are being given a third party data centers right so you don't need to maintain anything here snowflake will provide everything it's an, it makes your life easy to get the data warehouses to be available for you within a seconds or within a minutes right so the next one says but what sets snowflake apart from its architecture and data right architecture so mainly the main cause of this um, the main computes are the main speed up of the snowflake are main um, you can say that the major the major feasibility or flexibility comes with an architecture apart from that snowflake have a very standing concept called as a data sharing capability. So who doesn't have an account? For example, a day, as a data engineer has prepared some data and he has to share with the data analyst, he doesn't have an account. So there is, an, there is a concept called as a data sharing concept in a Snowflake. You can simply create a share and provide to the data analyst. So though he doesn't have an account, he can use a temporary account, he can run his all metrics on the data. So this is one beauty which doesn't have in a uh, many cloud services are in it traditional anyhow traditional doesn't have that right so and the last point say the snowflake architecture allows storage and compute to scale independently so what this mean so this this is a real differentiator we can call here so in, in a traditional data warehouses you see whenever you want to bump up some storage right so parallelly you have to bump up your hardware as well or you currently there is a 1 million users are using this databases and tomorrow you hide another half million people and there will be a stress builder on this 1.5 billion so you want to increase the hardware so increasing hardware is a time taking process that needs a lot of plan and the teams has to be involved and downtime to be completed but in a snowflake if you want to bump up just a storage okay so you can bump up storage alone you can if you want to bump up a compute you can bump up compute alone so you don't need to pay for the both of that that's a waste of money you spending on a traditional data warehouses that can be totally avoided when you comes to your snowflake okay and you can pay only for what you have used okay what you have used in example you in, in a traditional data warehouses what you have you have a 10 gb of requirement but you will buy a 20 gb assuming it and you have to maintain the 20 gb but in snowflake you don't need that way so you can just use a 10 gb and pay for that right and sharing functionalities as i mentioned you can share the data across the organization and you can execute the data in a, in motion and in rest everything will be encrypted and re-encryption will happen by snowflake but everything will be maintained by a snowflake team so there is no work for a developer or some other team to be involved here so next let's understand some more benefits on the snowflake cloud so first one is performance and speed right the elastic nature of the cloud means if you want to load a data faster or run high volumes of queries you can scale up the virtual warehouses to take the advantage of extra compute resources right so example you think there isn't some very important kpis you have to run so that your management is waiting for that information to be revealed so that they can run some campaigns or they could go to the customer and offer something right so if you want to run that kind of faster queries so it's it's just a few clicks away that you increase your warehouses from a large size to extra large or extra large to extra extra large right you can just bump up in a few clicks and in a, in a, in a seconds of matter it will able to bump up and it will run it it will provide extra compute resources to it and make the results uh, come very faster 
right? So this this can't be done on a traditional data warehouse. So it's one of the limitations we had in a traditional uh, data warehouses and Snowflake provided as it has been deployed in a cloud, right? So as soon as we scaled up and um, we don't need to wait. So as soon as the query is completed, you can you, you know automatically it can scale down and it will reduces the money also you spend for the you know running faster right so if you reduce this if you scale down the warehouses and pay only for the time you have used right so that's 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 a better uh, limitation overcome we had in a snowflake right so next comes to storage and support so in traditional warehouses some traditional day warehouses doesn't uh, have a feasibility of storing the unstructured data or a semi-structured data so it has to go in a very uh, you know structured information or either using a etl you need to make it as a very structured right but in a snowflake it's it's just like it can able to uh, have an unstructured data or a semi-structured data or a structured data so anything can can able to digest okay what that means right so when you load it into a table right so it has to able to lo you know capture the data so in snowflake it provides a one of the data type called as a variant so that variant can able to handle any semi structured data so as a row it just provides it just able to keep it um, stored in a particular row with a 16 mb of a row size okay that's a very huge Right, so 16 million, um, um, you know, 16 million. We are talking about the characters can be stored in a single row, right? And Snowflake automatically optimizes how the data stored and queried, right? So it automatically inserts, it compresses the data, and it stores the data for you. Okay. So the next slide says concurrency and accessibility. So this is this is uh, most of the developers and most of the different teams who are accessing the similar data uh, would have been seen this concurrencies or accessibility issues. So what happens is in a traditional data warehouses, if there is any table accessing it by a two two resources or a, two teams, what happens is there is a case of deadlocks will happen, right? So again you have to raise a request with the dba to unlock the table and use it or if a person is already using queried some queried some table and someone wants to use the same table so then what will happen is the reading probability of that particular table will get less so you will get a there will be a lot of latency will get created because the table is already busy and query has been executed and whatever the query the second person has queried it will go into a queue right so there is a lot of concurrency and accessibility issues we have in a current traditional data warehouses a snowflake overcome all these issues concurrency issues with a unique nature called as a multi-cluster architecture so so uh, snowflake follows a multi-cluster architecture and this architecture follows shared nothing architecture and shared resource architecture so it's a combination of both of the architectures so it gives more power um, to the computes when it is running the queries right so when some other uh, every resource will have its own storage and it have this copy of data so what happens is when the two resources are trying to work on this particular data so there is no overlap and they both have a similar kind of speed and similar faster results will go to them so that their life will be easy and their work will complete soon and they you know they can be able to provide the kpas to the business as quick as possible okay and also this warehouses you can bump as we discussed in the previous slide so you can scale up or scale down based on how fast you are you are looking for the results right so data analyst data scientist or whoever the teams marketing campaigns analyst whoever it is can get what they need without waiting for the other loading or processing tasks to complete right so there is nothing called you it will go into a queue so every virtual resources own resources will get assigned for them and the data will get reviewed okay that's that's this is something business always wants right so they want the faster results they want the faster business to happen right so this is one of the snowflake you know uh, stands out uh, when you compare to the traditional data warehouses okay so seamless data sharing as i mentioned right so who doesn't have any um, you know accounts so what happens is um, let's take an example what happened is um, you are a data engineer and uh, um, some of the business person example pre-sales team has came to you and asked okay i want this data so that at least i can go to the client and uh, you know i can show some stats to him to bring up the you know project to us okay we will we will win the win the game here right so at the time he won't be having a snowflake access because he pre-sales team uh, doesn't require all access to be provided right so what you can do is simply you can create a 
share provide a share to him so that he can view that share of data and he can present as quick as possible to the business showing all the metrics and it helps him to get the project gain to the company right so in snowflake provides a seamless data sharing there is no limitations to it you can share it with any consumers who are going to use it right so it allows our organization to seamlessly share data with any data consumer right whether they are a snowflake customer or not through reader accounts they can be created directly from a user interface so you can use an interface to create the shares and provide it to the whoever the teams or whoever the person requires the data uh, how they want to generate the kpis or what they want to show to the some other people to gain the business right so this is a one business benefit um, you know to uh, uh, as snowflake is providing right so next one we see availability and security right so it's it's the data whenever you load it into your snowflake it will get replicated into your multiple zones you either select it as an aws azure or gcp so every cloud uh, service provider having its own zones and their own own uh, you know avail availability zones and reasons right so your data will get replicated in case of if any of the zone is gone down right so other zone will automatically just get connected and it provides the data so there won't be a any much latency or, or um, any delay in the providing the data right so availability is always there right so and security so we want to secure our data when every person or every business want to go into cloud everyone had a, a question saying that we are going to hand over our data to some other some company or somewhere we are putting in their hands how secure it is to us so they simply we can't provide right so there there is a lot of breaches can happen or business can go down and it causes a lot of fines or something for them right so snowflake has standed out providing in recent survey right nps the net promoter score they got in a security is almost 90 plus that means um, everyone's uh, um, you know adopted whoever is adopted and they are believing that snowflake is able to provide all the security they want okay and snowflake is certified by all socks type 2 type 1 and everything socks it has already been approved and um, uh, it can able to provide it can able to uh, you know uh, provide a security for all the pi information personal identification information or a person health information right or a personal card information so it 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 can able to digest all kind of data by encrypting and they 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 have a concept called as a rekeying encryption so for every week or a certain time they're rekeying also so that they can put a more security and av avoid all kind of breaches right so snowflake provides the best security as compared to other snowflake providers as well so uh, i hope this video helped and is individual or the business who are looking to move into a snowflake um, keep watching our videos thank you for watching